shallow again. Once we have identified those areas in which we are most susceptible to temptation, what should we do? Strengthen our resistance to illustrate. In Bible times, the most vulnerable part of the city, city's wall was its gates. Therefore, the gates were the most heavily guarded. Similarly, we need to give special attention to any areas in which we know that we are especially weak. 1 Corinthians 9, verse 27. We need to stay on guard. How can we guard ourselves? Consider what we can learn from the young man discussed in Proverbs chapter 7. He committed sexual immorality with an immoral woman. Verses 22 tells us that the young man went after her suddenly, but as the preceding verses show, he had taken several steps before this gradually led him to sin. What well, led up to sin first in the evening, he passed along the street near the immoral woman's corner. Then he marched toward her house. Read Proverbs chapter 7, verse 8 and 9. Next, when he saw the woman, he did not turn away. Instead, he stepped to her kiss and listened as she spoke of the communication sacrifices. At the communion sacrifices, she had offered perhaps in an attempt to make him think that she was not a bad person. Read Proverbs 17 and verse 13, 14, 21. Had the young man avoided the dangers that led up to the sin, he would have guarded himself from the temptation and from the sin. Solomon's account illustrates what can happen in the wor any worshiper of Jehovah. He might fall into serious sin and later feel that everything occurs suddenly or he might say it just happened. But yet, if he took some unwise steps that led to his transgression, those steps might have involved bad association, unwholesome entertainment, or frequenting questionable places where they're in person online. Perhaps he had also stopped praying, reading the Bible, attending meetings, or sharing in the ministry. Like the young man discussed Proverbs, he may not have committed the sin. So suddenly, after all, 